Today, I want to speak about the new creation book for Muslims, which you can get online at our website, AFII.org. And I want to tell you about David Irwin. David Irwin worked on the staff with Lillian Trasher, an orphanage ministry in Egypt. And he got such a burden for the Muslims while he was over there. So when I had him come to New York and we all sat around the table uh, and there were several of us, we began to sketch out a book, the new creation book for Muslims. And each uh, person contributed a chapter and uh, then we began to revise it and work on it. And then one day, uh, this man who was Pentecostal uh, was in the spirit in his home in Springfield. And the Holy Spirit gave him a word of knowledge. So he calls me up. So I'm in New York. He's in Springfield and we're on the phone. And I can... I can tell he's been weeping and I can also tell he's in the spirit. He says, Phil, listen, we, we really don't have any time now. I've got to come. I'm going to get a plane. I'm going to catch a plane today and I'm flying to New York. I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go down to Editorial Vita in Miami and we are, we're going to get this book done now. We have to do it now. And I said, well, David, uh, it's still in a rough draft and I, there's no way I could I have it ready today to get on a plane. And there was a long pause on the phone. I could tell he was extremely disappointed. It was very ominous. And then he said to me, well, Phil, don't get under bondage. It's okay. So eight days later, He's sitting at a four-way stop in Springfield in his car. And you have to remember something. He's come there from Egypt, and he's going to establish a national ministry with the Assemblies of God as a Muslim outreach headquarters that will have millions of dollars and all kinds of personnel, and will have a worldwide impact. And you know what? I think the devil really hated that. And I, I sensed in my spirit later on how foolish I was. And I did feel a little under bondage because I could have gone out to, uh, you know, JFK and I could have got on the plane with him and gone down to Editorial Vita and we could have stayed in a motel and we could have thrown it together in a hurry. Because while he was sitting there, at that four-way stop, a girl in a, a speeding car came out of nowhere and struck him broadside and killed him instantly. So when he called me, he had only eight days to live, and he was had a, he had a word of knowledge. It was like Isaiah came to Hezekiah and said, "Set your house in order." And 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 he he was looking. I guess he was sitting at his desk and he was thinking of things that hadn't gotten finished. And this was one of them. This was what he wanted, the new creation book for Muslims. And friend, I want to tell you something. You better not attack that book. It's got martyr's blood on it already. You better find a new, a new hobby horse. You better find something else to come against. Because God is going to raise up a a vast people movement among the Muslims and he will use many tools and this is just one little tool but I thank God I thank God for David Irwin Amen. I thank God for David Irwin and I thank God for the new creation book for Muslims and I thank God for everyone who's trying to reach out to Muslims all over the world including thousands of Christians who are who are reaching out with martyr's blood Amen. to the Al-Qaeda and the ISIS and the, uh, and the violent jihadists who are blowing them up and burning down their, 
churches and beheading them and 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 killing them and 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 friend it is a martyr's ministry and and when when we first began working on the book i should have known when i when we we were right up there on 74th or 75th street uh, between uh, central park west uh at the hepsiba house and, and and there we were we were all sitting around a big table and there were and all of us were uh, missionaries and, and all of us had a burden for the Muslims. And there was David Irwin sitting there at the table with all those other men. And he had very little time to live, very little time left. Friend, you have very little time left. You better start preaching. You better start evangelizing. You better start praying. It's time. It's, it's well past the hour. Don't ask for whom the bell tolls. David Irwin only had eight days. You may not have that much. Lord, I want to pray right now. I bind the devil. I bind the devil. I, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to put my foot down now, right now, against the devil. I bind you, Satan. I bind you, Satan. I bind the strong man. I bind the... <laughs> you shall... You shall not... You shall not attack this work. You shall not... We, we, don't, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities and powers and, and demons in high places. And I thank you, Lord, for David Irwin's life and his ministry. And I give you all the glory. And may we all live up to his example. In Yeshua's name, amen.